Right. Now let's hear the truth. It's Cutter's fault. He made me do it. He did, he did. He wanted me to set aside some weed for him. Just a bit. What did he give you for it? Me. And some gold. But it wasn't much. And I haven't any left. Please don't tell Carlos. I couldn't hack it in the monastery. I'm not cut out for it. I have allergies. Just get out of here. Thanks. Do you sell potions? I do indeed. Quality product, quality potions. Everybody buys from Leonardo, except for those tight wads who go to bed with every little injury. Their pain is not my game. So, you do business with the Don. What makes you say that? That's not important. What's important is that I know. I process a few plants. No harm in that. I don't want to cause you any trouble. No, no. Trouble isn't profitable. Take this, in case you had any trouble. And if you need more, I'm sure we can make a deal. Garth stole some of the Don's goods. What? Garth? I warned him about tangling with the Don. I assume you've taken care of things. Here, take a healing potion. A thanks for smoothing this over. How's business? Can't complain. Everyone wants to feel healthy, eh? You won't find many people who'll sell your potions in this town. And you can't leave the town. But I'm running out of supplies. When they're gone, they're gone. What supplies do you need? Healing plants, healing roots, and healing herbs. Pretty much the ingredients you need for a healing potion. What would you pay if I got you those supplies? I can't pay gold. No, no. I need every coin. But I can trade you a potion for plants. It'd have to be a good potion. I'll make it a life energy potion, right? Make you tough and resistant. And don't try coming with any old ripped up weeds. I know what I need. How many plants do you need? Ten healing herbs, five plants, and two roots would do. I'll see what I can find. Good. And while you're here, I'm open for business, if you want to buy. I have the plants you want. Excellent. Pleasure doing business. Here's the potion I promised. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. Nothing here worth my time. Garth's working with Cutter. Cutter? He lets us pay him so we can work in peace and then he steals from us. That bastard had sucked bog bodies if he thought there was money in it. What about the packages? Did he have them on him? We need those packages. Here are the packages you wanted. Good work. A lot of gold is coming your way. Who is your leader here in the town? We have an old storeroom in the rear of Sonya's brothel. You'll find him there. Good. Come on then. Tell me how to fleece the merchants. Right. There are two worthwhile targets. 
There's Conrad, the goods merchant. He buys from the farmers and sells at a big profit. And there's Alvaro, the weapons dealer. Since the only smith in the town works for him, he dictates the price of weapons. How do I collect from the two merchants? First, get an overview. Talk to them. Perhaps even buy something. You have to find out what's keeping them busy, what problems they have, and what weaknesses. We know their weaknesses. We can use that against them. What do you want? Yeah. How are you? How's business? Busy. But since the Inquisitor's laws were passed, I've been up to my neck in work. Alvaro hardly leaves me any time to sit down with a beer. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I slept. Tell me something about Alvaro. I need to work. Can't work all day. Take a break. And who'll do my job? You? I can give it a try. <laughs> Alvaro would love that. Me getting any old person to do my job. Or he'd be glad for his smith to get some rest. What makes Alvaro glad is chests bulging with gold. Alvaro's really working you to the bone. Sign of the times. Everyone in this town wants a weapon. Or wants a weapon sharpening. Still, it will be over at some point. I'm looking to buy a new weapon. Do you sell weapons? Love to, but I can't. Alvaro handles all the selling. Can I help you in some other way? Maybe. I am having supply problems. I'm always short of something. Mostly I need old metal that I can melt down to make blanks. Some old scrap metal would make my work a lot easier. Do you sell sword blanks? Normally, but since the business with the ruins, I can't get any more raw materials. Maybe I can help. Maybe. If you can get me iron ore, I can make you sword blanks. I'll get some old metal for you. But you can't get out of the town. I'll manage. That would be great. I'll pay you for it, of course. I'll take whatever you can bring. Where can I get some scrap metal? The farmers left a lot of old scrap metal lying around in their yards. Old tools, nails, that sort of thing. But then gnomes rummage around out there. They steal everything that isn't nailed down. I bet they've also stolen all that old scrap metal from the farmers. Could be. Who could teach me to pick locks? I'll take a wild guess. You want a weapon? I have a couple for sale, if you tell me what you're after. Show me what you have.
Your smith's a hard worker. Lots of work means lots of profit. We're about the only ones doing well here. So we have to take the work while we can. Your smith looks like he's about to collapse. Walter? He's as strong as an ogre. Even ogres fall over at some point. I'm not a tyrant, you know, but the work has to be done. Who can help you with those jobs? There are a couple of servants here in the merchant's quarter. If you can find them and pay them to work for me, that'll take the strain off Walter. Here's a bag of gold for the servants. It doesn't get delivered, I'll know. Harbour Town is a small place, and the gates are sealed. Does this mean Walter will get a break? As soon as he's finished Marcello's blade, he can stop. I have some iron ore for you. Well, what do you want made from it? Hey, you. You looking for a job? Might be. What do you want doing? Alvaro needs some wood chopping. Yeah, all right. I'll get started. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Hey, are you looking for some work? What? Alvaro has some work needs doing. The old man sent you. What does he want? He needs some blades sharpening. That suits me. Here. Is this the Don's amulet? Hey, you found it. I have to say I doubted you, thought you were another collaborator. But not anymore. You've done us both a favor. I'll make sure you're rewarded. What will you do now? I'm staying put. I need to think. And I need to watch Hernandez. Have fun. I gave Weasel the packages of Bruegelweed. So, you decided to help rather than hinder him. The Don's men have finished the Inquisition rules here. You've picked the losing side. Tony has the Don's gold amulet. Yeah, and I'm the winner of the Harbour Town Prettiest Arse competition. I didn't believe you before, and I'm not about to believe you now. So piss off and stop flapping your mouth at me, will you? The servants he wanted are now at work. Excellent. You've earned my trust. Keep the rest of the gold. Very generous. It was a fair wage. If you want to beg for more money, sniff round Master Belshaw in the gutters. Show me what you have.
Good news. Oh, what's that? Alvaro says you can take a couple of days off. That doesn't sound like him. You just need to finish the blade staff for Marcelo. I've already finished the staff. It's been in the cellar for a while. Alvaro's really got the hots for getting this delivery. Well, thanks for your help. If you need anything... Maybe another time. Thanks for the break. Give me the power of good. One hand washes the other. I need your help. What's up? Do you also work on artifacts? Whoa. If you found something, you have to hand it in. I do. Do you know what the Order will do to you if you keep artifacts? You'll get recruited and bang. Straight to the monastery. I can take care of myself. It won't just be you. I work on an artifact, I'll be in the same boat. And I'm not having that. I'm just a smith, remember? About the blade star for Marcelo. The one I forged? Yes. Why is it so important? Alvaro wants to use this gift to make an important friend in the Order. Can you teach me anything? If you're ready, I'll teach you the art of smithing. He'll be keeping that blade staff safe then. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But? Alvaro wears the key for the chest on his belt. But the cellar lock, it's old and rusty. A child could pick it with a piece of wire. That's Alvaro. Won't even pay for a new lock. Why is it you want to know? None of my business, but maybe I can help. What else can you tell me? I can tell you Alvaro tends to creep around the house at night. Sleepless man. Probably up, counting his earnings. How would someone get into the cellar? In theory, as quietly as possible. And if Alvaro is awake, wait until he's not around. What can you teach me? Can you help me? I need to know where Conrad's cows are. He has them in an enclosure at the rear town gate. He has a farmer garden. I don't know his name, but he looks tough. All the cows are Conrad's, apart from my Elsa. At least they've spared her so far. Do you have any work going? I already pay enough workers. More would bleed me dry. Can you spare me a little gold? Get out and stay out. I heard Comrade swearing at you. That bastard only cares about gold. At least now, he knows what it's like to lose something. I discovered that Alvaro has a blade staff in his cellar that his prize customer really wants. Sounds like an opportunity. I assume that Sid and Delgado have taught you the necessary talents for removing objects? Well, if not, you should catch up. Get a bit of advice from them. And what do I do with the blade staff? You'll give it back to him, like any upstanding citizen would. Of course, not without pocketing an appropriate reward. And Alvaro will play along with that. He's a businessman. As long as you aren't too brazen, he'll consider it. Conrad keeps a couple of cows at the rear town gate. Good to know. And? He has the cows watched by a farmer. And take a look around there. 
and talk to this farmer. Let's trade. Well, when I know you steal, how may I trust you? I feel odd. I'm Delgado's replacement. Oh, that's good. Have a beer on the house. No, I'll pass on that. Well, I'm gonna have one. Mmm, I needed that. So, why are you here? I wanted to get the gold. The gold you gave Delgado. Oh, so that's it. What's it? If you really want it, uh, of course you'll get your gold. A hundred gold coins, as always. Sounds like there's a but coming. Of course, you wouldn't know, but Delgado and I had an agreement. Go on. Well, I paid my debts in kind, so to speak. What do you mean? I kept my ears open and told Delgado where there were things to be had. In return, I didn't have to pay. He also got free drinks, of course. Tip-offs and free beer sound good to me. Well, that suits me too. Business isn't good at the moment, and finding the gold would be tough. Here's your beer. What? So what about a tip-off? Heard anything? Certainly have. Do you know Jack the Lighthouse Keeper? 
He was in here last week. Three sheets to the wind. And? He blathered on the whole time that it was his lucky day that he found a valuable ring. And? And I know where Jack hides the key to his chest. I'll bet three street whores to a farm girl. That's where he keeps that ring. I found Jack's chest. See? I gave you good blarney, didn't I? About your father. I found this key on Ericsson. Show me. I don't recognize this, but it has my father's initials on it. He marks his territory. I think he'd have carved his initials into me given the chance. This key's a start, but it's useless without a lock. I don't suppose Ericsson gave up what this key was for, did he? No, I didn't think so. Thanks for this. Let me know if you hear where this key might open. I found this paper in one of the shacks in the gutters. Now this is a useful piece of paper. This is precisely what I was looking for. I can finally leave this rat hole. You deserve a reward. Here, I can spare 200 gold coins. But take them, and you ask no more questions. Deal? Done. Just give me the gold. There'll be no more questions. 200 gold. You deserve it. You deserve more, but that's what I can pay. Good luck wherever the wind blows you. Me? I'm getting out of this place. Guess he didn't hide that chest too well. I have the armor plates. Miserable thief. Stealing from a thief isn't stealing. Here are your armor plates. Excellent. Hope the lads didn't kick up too much of a fuss. Here's your gold. Try someplace else. Changes. It's always the same with that guy. Well, I wouldn't need to wipe her. Burning the mind. Never been offensive, has it? Not for a day. They'll pick them out for open their ears, girl. Looks good. Most people will stab you in the back or something. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. Here, have a piece of fried meat. Thank you. Guarding is hungry work. Do you know if Durham has a hiding place around here? Durham has a little room behind the warehouse. Up the stairs, it is always open. Thanks, big guy. Ukos is hungry.
You, if you have time for idleness, I envy you. So you guard cows? Yeah, and feed and milk them. Berta here is the best cow we have, aren't you, old girl? She's a grand milker, best on the island, a real bovine beauty. No wonder Conrad wants me to guard her. I can see you're very proud. I'm sure you have plenty to do. Haven't you got nothing better to do? Conrad has a favourite cow. A really good one. Berta. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. I'm sure he would miss Berta. And a dead Berta will remind him of his own mortality. So I kill the cow? Do it. Cut off her head and take it to Conrad. Isn't that a bit... extreme? We need to get his attention. Take the skull to his house and plant it in his bed. Then come back to me. And if you get caught... You're on your own. Have you ever wondered where they come from? Don't just stand around. Be off with you. Who could teach me to pick locks? I have nothing more to tell you. Stop bothering me.
You're ah. attacking our livestock. Ah. Ah. Yourself to blame. You don't mind if I take a little something. Hey, you killed Berta. I'd keep quiet about that if I were you. You lousy cow killer. What am I going to do for a job now? That's not my problem. Murderer. Cow murderer. Lower your... Ah, I'll help!
is everyone's problem. Okay, sell me the ring. Believe me, you're getting one good deal right there. Don't let Carlos or his people catch you with it, though. So, you'll buy the fish stall? Yeah. Fish from the shore in the mornings, sell during the day. Gotta be better than what I'm doing right now. Phyllis will be happy to hear that. What do you want? You've got what you wanted, now leave me alone. I found someone. Nico will buy your stall. What? Is he crazy? Oh well, his craziness, my escape. Thank you for finding him. Here, I found this clam in a fish crate. Might be of use to you. Now you're fish free, what will you do now? I'm going to Patty's. I'll get the gold from Nico on the way, and then I'm going to get very, very drunk. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a way off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. I do need information. I'm all ears. What is the situation like in town at the moment? Esteban's men seem to be gaining the upper hand. That's good for business, but I doubt it'll last long. The Inquisition seem to be gaining new members by the day. Do you know where I can find Don Esteban's captain in town? His boys sent me to see him. Hmm. Are you sure? You'd better be else you won't be coming out again to tell the tale. Scordo's back there, in the storeroom. There's a secret switch behind a picture on the wall of the washroom. Just go through the door it opens, and it'll lead you straight to him. Uh-huh. Thanks. 